If you're talking about making people um, make change in terms of the teaching learning programs and in terms of you know catering for students' um, ability and actually extending them, you need to make sure if you're asking them to make those shifts in the way they they um, plan and actually teach and the delivery of their lessons, you've got to make sure that you've got the appropriate support there for them. Um, and one of the experiences I've had is that you know that's where it's critical that your specialist staff are there to support them, because you know if you haven't got it there and you haven't got that support there, it's pretty hard to make significant change without that. But when you've got that support and people still not making the change, then you can sort of have the conversation, well, with all this support that we've provided, you're still not making, making these shifts in terms of your, your own teaching and learning. Um, for instance, if it's in literacy in terms of the two-hour block, you're not, you know, you're not embracing the, the actual spelling program that we're doing and in terms of the modelling of, of some of the strategies there, then you know, those are the conversations that you start having with people about saying, well, this is what, this is what the school focus is, this is what our priority is, this is the strategies that we've articulated in our school plan to make sure it's taking place. Um, what are you doing about it?